What's up, guys? Stas here. So we have to break down Mango Suticles today, this up-and-coming company that I'm watching. Their ticker symbol is MGRX. So I want to break down some news that just came out. And let me tell you guys, there's a lot of news surrounding this company. And of course, we'll break down the charts, what this company does. So if y'all find value, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And guys, please do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to go buy this stock or any stock for that matter. All I'm doing is breaking it down and putting it on your your radar so keep that in mind and with that being said guys cheers let's dive right into the video so check it out mango suticles mgrx has been down trending for a little bit here which could be opening up an opportunity you guys can see now we're down towards the bottom of the channel here on the four hour time frame which if i zoom in a bit you can see we have again been down trending for a little bit of time here and we're at the bottom of this channel which could be opening up again an opportunity here as it is pretty oversold and we could be due for some sort of relief rally like we've seen time and time again in the past as we've gotten down towards the bottom of this channel you guys can see if i draw out these uh you know these circles you guys can see on the charts back in july we got down to a dollar three then we rallied up to about a dollar 62 then back here in uh, the beginning of October, we got down to 52 cents, ran up to about $1.25, and now here we are again in that 30-ish cent range, right? Could we rally back up towards the top of the channel? That's kind of what I'm waiting for here in the very short term on um, MGRX, something like this. If you guys can see this uh, arrow that I'm drawing out, maybe something and this ballpark could play out. Keyword is could. Nothing's guaranteed, of course, guys, uh, here with Mango Suticles. But, yeah, it's getting pretty oversold on these charts. It's towards the bottom of the channel. So maybe a recovery rally could be in store. So let me actually pull up the Safari tab and break down what is going on with this company. Some news that we just got. And let me tell you guys again, we got a lot of news over the past couple of weeks around Mango Suticles. But first, let me tell you guys what Mango Suticles, <clears throat> excuse me, um, does here, what they are. They're pretty much a healthcare company, guys. Mango Suticles is a company focused on developing, marketing, and selling a variety of men's health and wellness products and services via a secure telemedicine platform. And to date, the company has identified men's wellness, telemedicine services, and products as a growing sector and especially related to the area of ED. And recently, guys, they've launched a hair regrowth product, which we'll talk about here in a couple of minutes. And the company has developed a new brand of ED product under the brand name Mango, right? Think Mango, not Mango the fruit. I guess you could think uh, Mango the fruit too. But the, uh, the idea here is you guys can see if I zoom in on this part, it says Mango, right? That's kind of the brand they're trying to build here. So Mango Suticles, again, up and coming company here. They're actually the main sponsor of a Barstool podcast, and they've gotten a lot of eyeballs on them recently. We'll talk about that later in the video. You guys may or may not have heard of the Barstool podcast only stands. We'll talk about that here in a minute, but they sponsor that podcast. So you guys can see they recently expanded their men's health product line with compounded hair growth treatment called Grow. Let's actually come down here a little bit more and see what is going on with this product. So Mango Suticles, again, a company focused on developing, marketing, and selling a variety of men's health and awareness or wellness, excuse me, products uh, via secure telemedicine platform. They recently launched this hair growth treatment called Grow. You guys can see here the, uh, the images of this. The custom compounded hair growth treatment combines four clinically proven hair growth products, minoxidil, finasteride, vitamin D3, and biotin and this is in a convenient chewable mint flavored tab you guys can see here uh pretty interesting packaging nice packaging there so instead of using i guess topical solution with minoxidil or using finasteride i think that's through a pill as well uh, i guess you could do an all-in-one here with mango's new product which again has minoxidil finasteride vitamin d3 and Biotin and the product is now available for delivery by prescription through Mango's RX, uh, Mango RX's, excuse me, um, website. And this is very new, guys. They just launched this 
recently, and the launch of Grow signifies a giant step in the company's overall progress and mission to provide their customers with custom and innovative products and solutions under the Mango RX brand, said Jacob Cohen, Mango RX's co-founder and CEO. And when it comes to hair, we're all about the upward and onward journey. I like how he's a little funny there. Grow aligns with Mango RX's mantra of performance, evolution, and achieving the best version of oneself. So that is the first piece of news here around Mango Suticles, their new product launch, which again is a hair treatment product and we also got news that mango suticles you guys can see right here the article headline they launched their mango rx mexico subsidiary paving the way for over-the-counter retail over in latin america or you know of their products of course so you guys can see here mango is excited to announce the establishment of its subsidiary mango rx mexico which will act as the linchpin of the company's mexican and expanded latin american sales strategies for its mango Mango ED products and the company has engaged one of the largest international law firms Diaz Ruz International Law Firm to establish its subsidiary presence in Mexico and with offices across five continents Diaz Ruz represents major Fortune 500 brands, including Oracle, Nissan, Sony, and Alliance, to name a few. And quote, this has enormous implications for our growth trajectory going forward for several important reasons, according to Mango CEO. First, ED medications, such as the generic ones, are available to consumers over the counter in Mexico. That presents increased margin and sales volume potential for what we already produce and market here in the United States. States. And second, Mexico is a completely untapped market as our research indicates that we will be the only company offering an ED product in a flavored rapid dissolve tablet, which is definitely a more innovative way um, to consume the product. And from my understanding, this is a way more effective product than the other ED products on the market, right guys? And look at this guys, another piece of news. It looks like they're getting into the testosterone game. It looks like they're introducing a product called Prime and that's powered by Kiza tracks. Let's come down here a little bit and see what's going on here. So Mango is excited to announce that they've entered into a marketing agreement with Marius Pharmaceuticals to market and sell Kizatrex, which is an innovative FDA approved oral testosterone replacement therapy product under the program Prime by Mango RX. And Prime will be available on Mango RX's telemedicine platform with an anticipated launch date of January 34, uh, 31st, 2024. And Kizatrex is a prescription drug that is used to treat adult men who have low or no testosterone levels due to certain medical conditions and is only one of three FDA approved TRT treatments that is delivered orally as opposed to the traditional invasive and inconvenient injection based delivery protocol, which this is definitely innovative guys, uh, you know, oral treatment there for TRT, which, you know, it's kind of a, an untapped market, if you will, that Mango is going after here, which is really good news in my opinion. And this is kind of old news here, but to show you guys the exposure that Mango Suticles has, a couple of months ago over the summer, they announced a deal with Barstool Sports to market Mango on the popular only stands podcast. I talked about this earlier in the video and this podcast across platforms averages more than 320,000 listeners per episode and the company plans on sponsoring many many episodes over the next couple of months so that's another thing here about the company although it is kind of old news at this point it's still pretty relevant as it is bringing eyeballs overall to mango suitical so that's a quick breakdown here on the stock guys the company some news that just came out very very promising uh, promising news here moving forward so what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comments and again this company is called mango suiticals their ticker symbol is mgrx and i'm watching it very closely here at the bottom of the channel maybe for a rebound keyword is maybe and full disclosure guys i'm not a financial advisor i'm not telling you guys what to do and i actually own zero shares of mango suticles as of right now so keep that in mind guys and with that being said cheers i'll catch you all in the next video